so you've done uh, many, many things. Is, is there something that you've done in your career that maybe you haven't had the opportunity to talk enough about that you are so impressed with? We've all heard the Double Dare stories. We've all heard the stories from Unwrapped and Behind the Camera at um, Restaurant Impossible and the Burt Reynolds Tonight Show story. Something that you were particularly proud of that might be sort of a, a, a gem that maybe only the most diehard Mark Summers fan would know about. I'll, t I'll tell you two different sides. Uh, one is, what's the worst moment you've ever had in your career? And right away, I don't have to think about it. Uh, when I was living in New York doing Biggers and Summers, um, I was invited to be on Politically Incorrect with Bill. Burr. And uh, I have a copy of it, which I looked at not long ago. It was the Biggest mistake I ever made. I just was horrible. Um, now, there were things that went on prior to that show. They call you the day before. This is how it was back then. And said, these are some of the topics that Bill was asking you. And then you meet with the exec producer. And he goes, this is the antithesis of any talk show you've ever seen. If you don't interrupt, we don't have a show. So make sure you interrupt. And here's the first question that Bill's going to ask. Who wants to start off? And he went around the table and said, uh, whose answer, what would your answer be? And because I gave whatever answer I gave, he said, okay, you're going to lead it off. For some reason that night, everything that they warned us about Bill asking, he never asked. Oh. So when he asked the first question and I was told no matter what answer it, I really had nothing to say. And my whole evening, I had nothing to say. And all acts, uh, when I was a warm up guy in our main, every act from Jerry Lewis uh, you know, Lawrence Olivier, uh, we had them all on the show. And when they'd walk off stage, they would all say to the producer, how to do, okay? And uh, I always wanted to write a book called How Did I Do? Every, every person asked that question. And when I went to the producer and said, how did I? He walked away from me. <laughs> <laughs> they never asked me back, they didn't say. So that was the biggest disaster. But the best thing I ever did, which nobody knows about, in my opinion, was um, I was on a show called The Home Show. And it was a mistake. It's too long a story as to how I got on the show. Uh, but I started to cover hard news. So I was doing Double Dare during the day, throwing green liquids at 11-year-olds. And uh, then I was working basically for ABC News. Uh, when the polyclass kidnapping happened up in Petaluma, California, uh, I covered it for ABC, for The Home Show. And I did a live town hall meeting, uh, 1130 to 12, on the network. and. Um, I had never done anything like that. My background really wasn't as a journalist, but somehow somebody believed in me. Hmm. And I think 30 minutes of live TV uh, was perhaps the best thing I ever did. And those couple of years of doing hard news, covering the Gulf War and whatever, um, I think is my best body of work. And nobody you know, even knew I did it at this point. 